Hey there, my name's Andy Wood and today we're going to generate some spectacular supercar images. They're not going to be any old boring brochure pictures. Our supercars, they're all going to be themed. So just take a look at these beauties. This one's leopard themed and look at the background on that. Absolutely love that with the, the glow in the background. A tiger themed supercar. Very simple, clean lines. Looks fantastic. A zebra themed supercar and I've dropped it with a jungle background as you can see. This one's um, a Batman themed car in um, a city street. Then not to be left out this is Spider-Man you can see the red and black coming out and some webbing there some hints of webbing there and the flames make it look absolutely brilliant. And finally, I'll show you how to do a dragon style one with lots of flames and sparks. So that's what we're going to do today and I'll take you through each step to do that. Now, before we get started, um, this is a new channel and it would really help me if you would subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any new con uh, content that I produce and also it benefits the channel. So I'd really appreciate your support on that if you could do that. Okay, so um, without further ado, first thing I'm going to do is grab the prompt. So if I just go into my prompt log, Chrome extension, I think I've got it in favourite, Steam Supercars, let's have a look. So the prompt, and I'll paste this down below in the notes so you can just copy paste it into mid journey. Um, the prompt is brochure image of a futuristic and then the theme that you want to pick design supercar you can add in some optional details and we'll come on to that in the explanation we say very deta detailed we can describe the background hyper realistic advertisement photography it's dramatic cinematic lighting as you probably gathered so I'm just going to copy that and now I'm going to head over to mid journey so slash imagine pick the prompt up so we'll just paste that in there now let's start I think we started with a leopard leopard design supercar and on this one will it's totally optional whether you mention the background so I'll take that out I'll take out any extra as you saw um, detail and we'll just go with that it does work better in a landscape mode so wider than it is high so we'll just ask me Jenny to do that for us and see what comes up now I've got it in fast mode but depending on the loading on mid journey um, it can take some time so if this starts to take a little bit too long then I'll cut the um, clip and then return to it but this one it actually looks like it's starting to come in now so let's just see what this one does it's coming pretty quick and it's already looking quite colorful i think i said in the last um, video that this always amazes me you can get right up to 93 percent on um, the completion and the picture is still not looking great but that last seven percent generally gives a massive creative boost to the image so we're on 62 as you can see 78 we'll go 93 and then boosh so 93 see the look okay not bad and here we go these look great I mean I'd drive any of these any any time of the day we have the different colouring. Look at that one. I love that one in the gold. And that one's got some interesting background in there. Let's just upscale um, three and get a better look at that. I'll drop that off just to keep the desktop clean. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. You see the effect of the leopard styling in there. And just imagine that on a poster on 
a wall absolutely brilliant okay so let's do another one this time oops it didn't pick up the prompt you need the bit that says prompt in there I do that surprisingly many times a day so let's go with tiger and this time and we'll still leave the optional details as blank and we will say um, let's say a black background and just see what that comes out with and we'll drop in the dimensions and hopefully that will be as quick as the leopard design that came up there I've just noticed on the leopard design you can see a hint of that also in the flooring in um, in the image which is pretty clever so okay so let's see what Mid Journey makes of a tiger design car you see we're forming in there that one's lit I guess they're all lit to some expect uh, to some extent we're nearly there as I say these will make fantastic posters and you could drop them onto Etsy or into sites like Redbubble and um, sell the poster art okay so let's see what it's made of these wow these are stunning I do like that one especially with the glow at the back there but look at that with the logo on the side and let's let's upscale one and two They're all very different well you get four posters basically out of one generation very rarely have a, a bad one on these and look at that the hint of the tiger on the side of the car there and again on that one look at that imagine that on a poster absolutely brilliant so let's do another one let's do um, the oh, cracky what am I doing zebra so we'll go to um, zebra design we'll leave the optional details I'll show you that in a few few minutes time and we'll put this one in the jungle background actually what I will do is just put jungle background and see how that is interpreted here are three two you may have to adjust and um, the aspect ratio depending on um, the type of poster that you're trying to generate um, and see what comes up I mean just as a matter of interest I could do one of them as a 2 3 aspect ratio and you see how mid journey copes with that I'll do that in a second we'll just look for this in the jungle zebra design so I'm expecting some some stripes on this somewhere or at least a hint of stripes um, it looks on one that we're already getting that and two that we're already getting that and I'm not really a car enthusiast so I don't know whether this is an actual car um, actual brand of car but maybe if you if you know please um, please drop a comment let me know what you think okay nearly there one more and boosh there we go as we can see zebra very apparent in this we've got stripes on there stripes on there stripe down the middle on that one that looks very futuristic strange jungle um let's go with i think we'll go with three just have a better look at three and in the meantime i'll get rid of that look at that absolutely amazing it's amazingly it looks like a tarmac road 
in the jungle. But look at that, again, fantastic. Great picture. Okay, let's just try a different one. We'll try playing with, um, I showed you the Batman one earlier on. Let's play with that a little bit. We'll make a little challenge for mid journey. Again, I'll take out the optional. I'll come on to that in a minute now. Um, optional background, I will, um, let's put black background on that. And then this time we'll do AR23 and just see what kind of image comes out of mid journey for that. I mean, hopefully it hasn't shrunk the car, it will tip it up on end, um, but we'll we'll see, we'll see what it does. This one looks like it's a little bit slower, so I will cut the video and I'll come back to it in a second. Okay, we're back with um, Batman, but with the aspect ratio 2-3, and here we go. Well, they're spectacular looking cars, um, and I guess I guess really I think three wouldn't look bad on a poster. Let me just get rid of that one. Oops, it's taken a little bit of a while to uh, come up. Here we go. So it doesn't look bad on a poster. Aspect ratio two three so higher than it is wide but i do prefer this aspect ratio of the three two or similar um, for this this type of image okay so let's just start to play with the optional um, details let's go with we'll copy that one we'll slash imagine not the prompt okay brush your image of now this time let's go with um spider-man and for the optional details let's say flames very detailed and we'll leave the background to mid journey and that aspect ratio and let's see what happens by just requesting flames in the image and you'll see that um, mid journey is very obliging and it does add to um, the image as you can see on this one that just a light at the background there and just just gives it a little bit of something that that makes it stand out and that's what we're going to do on here you can already see the glow from fr flames and i think that's coming out of red and black they should all come out similar red and black um, as Spider-Man is generally just three more goes one another cycle two and crikey we can see the flames now and you can see it's already pushing the image and three now look at those I mean, you can see the red and black not so much on that one you can there you can here and you can here and i mean they look absolutely fantastic don't they we'll go we'll just let's just lift up um let's lift up three and just see if i can pull out the spidey influence on there not so much really, I suppose maybe the shape, but I'm sure you'll agree with the flames there, it looks absolutely brilliant. 
let's try just clean that up the last one and on this one we're really going to push it so we'll say push your image of a futuristic we'll go with dragon which was the last one that I showed you at the very beginning and this time we're going to put flames and sparks and you can try just doing sparks and they equally look, look quite good well, flames are limited but adding both in absolutely brilliant and if we put let's leave the background and we'll see what we can come up with there with Jenny it's like voodoo magic absolutely amazing what it can produce in with very little really brochure image futuristic dragon design supercar I'm asking for flames and sparks I'm asking it to be very detailed hyper realistic but it looks like something um, out of an advertisement a photograph of an advertisement and we want dramatic lighting basically and so we're talking about one one descriptive a subject descriptive 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 one two three four five six descriptives and a subject and mid journey takes that does its voodoo and produces images like that I, I like that they're just absolutely amazing they are to me at least so let's have a look at three and again look at that imagine that on a on a poster a bit a large a large blow up of it absolutely brilliant okay so let's just whiz back as you can see these images are the fantastic supercars not so keen on the 2b3 aspect ratio um, I'd, I'd well recommend using 3b2 I'd well recommend putting in flames and sparks on these supercars because it just has such an enormous impact you can use things like laser lights as well and that equally um, neon um, light as well has quite an impact on the image but um, well, let's just do one let's do the same one and take that and we'll put flames and sparks we'll put neon laser lights no such thing but we'll ask it anyway very detailed black background and let's just see how it compares with this I mean I love the ones with the flames just absolutely amazing let's just see what we can get from mid journey with neon laser lights no clue yet As you can see, look at the the effect neon light on there, on that one, on that one. <laughs> That's very strange. And that one, let's go with three. Just have a quick look at that. And again, look at that really interesting design. Really interesting. Looks fantastic. And I might as well pick out. A couple more and have a look so there's the green one it's pretty darn good that one it's almost floating in the air that one absolutely fantastic but as I say really good images please have a play with it come up with some of your own designs maybe on nature um, or um, cyborg what would a cyborg supercar look like have a play and play with the lighting, play with the backgrounds 
and the additional details. So that's it for today. Um, again, if um, you would be, if you've enjoyed this and um, you would like to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button. It will really help me um, because it's a new channel. And um, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.